On this episode of the DC Eric Show, we go back to 1998 and show you Motor Racer 2, which was released on PC and PlayStation. I first got my hands on Motor Racer 1 for the Sony PlayStation, and I loved it so much that I had to play the sequel, Motor Racer 2. I then rented the game and liked it so much, a couple years later my brother got his hands on a copy, and when he wanted to sell his PlayStation, he decided to sell a mass collection of PS1 games, and that included Motor Racer 2. I wasn't really happy about this, and after that happened, I only got to play the game a couple of times. So now I bought the PC version off GOG.com, and have decided to show you why I enjoyed it so much. In Motor Racer 2, the game takes mostly everything from the first and adds more CPU racers, a weathering system, a create your own track mode, and on the PC version, you get an extra four player multiplayer mode. There is only a couple things different from the PlayStation version and the PC version. Most notably, of course, four player multiplayer is only introduced in the PC version, possibly due to slowing things down on the PSX version. However, the PSX version has a two-player mode. The PC version has a higher amount of CPU opponents, and the PSX version has a lesser amount to keep good frame rate. Probably one of the most interesting additions to this game is the Create Your Own Track. Well, it's not bad, and it's not that great. Basically, what we have here is edit current tracks in the game and get your own track. Which means, yes, you can change the layout of the track. You can also change the weather system, the main theme for your track, and choose what types of bikes you want to use for the track. The only thing I didn't like was when I tried to make a large track, I couldn't save it because the game said it was too large. When you're finished creating your tracks, you can use them in multiplayer mode and single player modes. Yes, I said single player modes with a plural, and that's because in championship mode, you can select custom championship, which will contain your created levels. Championship mode is different from Motor Racer 1. It contains five championships you can compete in. Beating each one unlocks the next championship and also unlocks extra content. I guess there is one other thing different with the PC version of Motor Racer 2, and that's that it uses DirectX, which means better high quality graphics. But because DirectX 9 and up are not backwards compatible with DirectX 7, the graphics aren't as polished. So this means I am able to play the game in 3D, and it'll look pretty much like the PS1 version. Nowadays, it's a lot harder trying to get the Motor Racer series of games to run on current Windows operating systems, most notably 64-bit systems. Well, this is where a cool site called GOG.com comes into play, because this site allowed me to play Motor Racer 2 on my Windows 7 64-bit system. The site is great, but you may come across some small issues. The issues I've had is with DirectX 3D and 3DFX, which causes some parts of the races to have frame drops, usually in dark levels where the lights are and when you enter a cave, and I hope this gets fixed soon. Other than that, all games should run fine from their site. The Motor Racer series of games are available at their website for purchase for direct download. I forgot to mention the soundtrack. The music kind of reminds me of the music from the Jet Moto series of games. So with that being said, you might either like the music or dislike it, or not even pay attention to it. But I gotta say, it did add to the gameplay as it felt right for the type of atmosphere Motor Racer 2 gives us. The sound effects hurt the ears a little bit, with motorcycles sounding a little bit like lawnmowers, and the braking sounding like somebody scratching a chalkboard. But this still doesn't stop the fun we get from Motor Racer 2. I only have one other complaint about the sound, and that's that they reused the audio tracks of the commenter from the Motor Racer 1. And I felt that was pretty lazy, but nonetheless, the commenter gives us the feel of what the Motor Racer series is all about. There would be one more Motor Racer game released for the PC, and that would be Motor Racer 3. It takes a bit of the gameplay from Motor Racer 1 and Motor Racer 2, but instead of the good arcade gameplay we got from the first two games, we get a simulator. It's not bad, but what annoyed me was the menu system. You had to go through so many selections to get what you wanted, and the layout was pretty ugly. Motor Racer 3 gets rid of the championship modes, which means you do certain events to unlock more tracks and motorcycles. There isn't a whole lot to talk about here, as a lot of the Motor Racer fans didn't like the game as much, and was probably the only reason why it was released for PC. There was one more Motor Racer game for console, and that was Motor Racer World Tour, which was released for the PlayStation. This game was a little like Motor Racer 3, adding simulator type of gameplay. This game seems to have a little bit more fans than Motor Racer 3. It wasn't the total end for Motor Racer though, as two more games were released. 
one for the Game Boy Advance and one for Nintendo DS. Motor Racer Advance was very well liked, then of course Motor Racer DS was released. This game was well liked as well, but for a select audience, and that was due to its difficulty. Okay, so there was supposed to be one more Motor Racer game, and that was Motor Racer Traffic. And there isn't much information about this game, and by now it's probably been cancelled. Now, there might be a whole lot of reasons why the game has been cancelled, and that's probably because by now, the series felt like it had a good run. Well, first off, I'd like to say I really enjoyed Motor Racer 2. It was a bit different from Motor Racer 1. Motor Racer 1 didn't reuse themes for every level it had, and its own unique levels. That would be the only complaint I have for Motor Racer 2, is that it reuses a lot of things, but adds some things to make it more interesting to the gamer. There is a whole lot of speed in this game, and I really enjoyed the weather effects that were missing from Motor Racer 1. A nice touch to this game was 4-player multiplayer and direct X effects, but the only problem is that on today's current operating systems, we will never get to see what made Motor Racer 2 look so beautiful. So now we have come to the end of the show. You can find Motor Racer 2 for the PSX and the PC on eBay or your local game shop. And if you're a PC gamer, I would suggest getting it from GOG.com. If you'd like to play it on your Windows 7, 32-bit, or 64-bit operating system. I hope you enjoyed the show and get your hands on Motor Racer 2. And come back to this channel for another game I couldn't keep my hands off. Of.